Hey you guys, Shanini here and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and I'm out and about running some errands and I decided that I needed, well actually what brought me out the house today y'all was I made a sale on eBay and I didn't have any more bubble mailers so yeah. I needed to go to the Dollar Tree to get bubble mailers and that was the only thing I needed to get and they didn't have any of that. They didn't have any the bubble wrap, they didn't have bubble mailers. They didn't have nothing. All they had was a bunch of scotch tape and that was it. I was kind of pissed about that because I went to um, a Dollar Tree a little bit further from me over there on Metropolitan. Although I have a Dollar Tree right here by my house, I decided to venture out a little bit and oh, I was disappointed. I probably should have just came right on over here to the Dollar Tree, but whatever. However, I did find some other stuff that I managed to pick up. Um, I've been to the Dollar Tree a lot this month, y'all. I mean, like, for a lot of stuff. Cleaning stuff. Uh, uh, organization stuff, like the little uh, container storage bins, that type of stuff. Oh, food. Just all kinds of stuff this month. And I haven't showed much of it to you guys. Um, I just need to invest in me a camera because using my phone, I don't know what happens when I go to, when I make the video on my phone and then I go to transfer it to my computer. Sometimes it goes through smoothly and I, I uh, upload it, edit it, get it all together or whatever. And then I upload it to YouTube. Sometimes that doesn't happen. The last two videos that I tried to make for you guys were grocery haul videos. Because remember I told you I was going to do like the weekly grocery haul thing and meal planning. And one of them was a trip to Walmart. The other one was a trip to to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And um, because I had went to Walmart twice, I was going to combine all three shopping trips together in one video. Well, everything was cool until it got like to six or seven minutes into the video. And then the sound was gone. Like you could still see everything that I was doing, but you couldn't hear nothing that I was saying, which I thought was weird. So I took it off my computer, uploaded all of that, all of the clips again from my phone and redid the editing, put it all together and did the playback. And the same thing happened. So I don't know what's up with that, you guys. It's kind of frustrating when I want to put out videos regularly. That seems like when I have the most issues getting them out is when I plan in my head to get them out to you. I don't know if the devil is playing with me or what, but it seems like every time I plan to do something, it never works out. Just like this weekend, um, we were supposed to be celebrating the honey's birthday. We were going to shoot down to Florida for a minute, grab some seafood from the all you can eat seafood buffet probably hit Panama City or something and that didn't happen um some other stuff happened with the kids and it just kind of threw everything off along with me having to pick one hour to work for Saturday just because of the star Maddox. something went wrong when we were choosing our hours or whatever and then like a week later it was saying that I wasn't meeting my commitment adherence, although I had all of my minimum amount of hours. So anyways, that threw us off too, because I had we had to drop Olivia off in Macon, come back so that I can work. And like, you know, it was, it was just too much. Work for an hour, by the way, okay? But anyway, so yeah, um, that was this weekend. And like for the past two weeks, you guys, <coughs> just in case you were wondering why I haven't uploaded anything, it's because my focus, I keep getting distracted by these wannabe grown kids that we got living here in our house. For those that's been following me for a while, you know that I've got three kids in my household. There's Olivia and then her stepbrother and stepsister. Uh, they are two. And, you know, now they're older. When I first mentioned um, the older two, they were a little bit younger. And I don't really talk about them much. Um, but these past couple of weeks, man, they have been, the stress is real, y'all. The stress is real in my household. Like for real, like I can't even, it's hard to focus on other things because there's with the children, there's just, they've got so much stuff going on. And although they're not adults, they go and do adult type stuff and then it doesn't work. 
and then we're there to clean up the mess. You know what I'm saying? So it's been really, really aggravating dealing with them two. One's 17, one's 18. And they lie so much. And that's the other aggravating part about it. I would tell y'all what happened this weekend. But y'all, it, it ain't going to do nothing but piss me off all over again. Um, just because the whole thing was just stupid. It was another dumb mistake that they did. Just not thinking because they want to be grown. And it ruined a lot of stuff for me this weekend with their shenanigans so if i go into the story it ain't gonna do nothing but piss me off all over again y'all but just know that anytime that i go a while without making videos it's because of something that is requiring my attention a little bit more than youtube okay because i make youtube videos for fun uh so you know as a stress reliever or whatever but i try not to come on here like when I'm going through things or when I'm not in a good mood or when I need to vent I try not to do that on this channel um because I want this to be a positive channel but from time to time you may just hear my reality okay because that every day for me is a perfect happy-go-lucky day so anyways moving on I went to the Dollar Tree you guys left out with nothing that I went in for so let's get to it okay first thing i picked up was this mist spa exfoliate pomegranate and mango bath and shower gel at the dollar tree that i'm sitting in front of by my house they actually have one with a green label on it and i wouldn't say it's cucumber and something else but i left it i didn't get it but when i saw this one and i smelled it i thought it smelled pretty good oh excuse me so I thought I would just go ahead and grab it just to have it. Um, the other day, I was, like I said earlier, I've been going to the Dollar Tree a lot. So the other day when I was at the Dollar Tree, I got some, uh, some body wash. And I'll show it to you guys because they actually had this at the Dollar Tree before, but the packaging was different. Um, soft sensual or something like that. It was in a white bottle. But anyway, everybody was going ham for it when they first put it in the Dollar Tree and people was hauling it like crazy. But they've got it back now, but it just looks different. So anyway, I'll show that to you guys if I can remember to take a photo of it or something. Alright, so these are multi-surface wipes and you can use them on granite, tile, wood, stainless steel, and glass. There are 30 in this pack right here, and they were only a dollar. Everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. Um, if you're in the U.S., because I just found out, actually, in Canada, their Dollar Trees are a dollar, everything is a dollar 25. There's this young lady that I watched, uh, I can't remember what her channel was, but she did a Dollar Tree haul, and I was, like, thrown off, because I was like, Dollar Tree, 125, but she lives in Canada so anyways I got these for the bedroom upstairs to clean around my desk area and computer area because I get tired of hunting down trying to hunt down Windex and all that other kind of stuff and multi-purpose cleaners that I normally keep downstairs I keep some of it upstairs but most of it's downstairs okay and there's moments where I don't feel like going down there you know so I got these for upstairs I'm gonna put them under the sink in the bathroom now for the bathroom downstairs, I did pick up another hand soap. Um, I had one in there. It was the Dow Maluba oil, Miracle oil, something like that. It is the bomb.com. But because I like the smell of it so much, I moved that one upstairs to my bathroom, moved the one in my bathroom to the kids' bathroom, and moved the one from the kitchen to the bathroom downstairs. So now I have to replace... The one that was in the kids bathroom which i'm going to put the one that i took out of there back in there and put this one downstairs because olivia decided that she was going to use a whole bottle of hand soap for bubble bath yes y'all the stress is real so anyways another thing that i picked up is retractable earphones I always buy earphones from the Dollar Tree because Olivia always tears them up. So I don't feel like paying any more than a dollar for some earphones that I know she's going to get a hold to. And I know some of y'all are probably like, well, why don't you put the, ear the headphones up? Let me tell you something. If you don't have kids, then you don't understand. If you have kids, then you completely understand that no matter where you put something in your house, if you have a child 
that is curious about everything in sight, they're going to eventually find what they what what you're trying to hide, okay? Cuz Olivia does it to me all the time. The only there's only one hiding space that I can put stuff in the house, and it's only because she's too short to reach it. Anywhere else, if it's a closet, if it's a uh it just anything if she can grab a chair and look around she'll do that if you let her use your bathroom well i know she does it to me she doesn't do it at strangers houses you know people's other people's houses but if i let her use my bathroom she comes out with eyeshadow all on her lips that she thought was lipstick you know the girl crazy okay she's always in my stuff so she stays breaking my earphone uh so yeah, I had to replace those. So I got these. These are Intimate White Soft and Gentle Aloe Vera 30 count. They are alcohol and paraben free. I've noticed that paraben free is becoming like a trend now, even in like hair, um, hair care products. But when did paraben become bad for you? I don't know. That's just like a lot of hair care products that uh, market to people with natural hair it's like you know is it really for natural hair or are you just saying it's for natural hair so that you can you know I digress but anyway this is intimate uh, wipes I've never used them before but I figured you know <coughs> maybe one day I might it is hot out here and I sweat and so like when we're out somewhere or whatever or if we're away from the house for a long period of at a time and I feel like I need to freshen up a little bit or whatever then I guess these would come in handy I've never used them before I've never even used intimate wipes from any brand so um I think I would just try them out because I've they don't sell them well you know what I'm not gonna say they don't sell them at the Dollar Tree over here because they always run out of stuff so maybe they do and just every time I go in there they they're out of stock I don't know but I saw somebody haul this in a video and when I saw that video I said if I ever saw them then I'll give them a try the next thing I picked up was something that I always pick up from the Dollar Tree uh, because it's just budget friendly to do it this way and I get to pick whatever pattern that I want or that I'm feeling at the time. So they've, we all know that they've got shower curtains. They've got all different kind of designs. And um, you've seen shower curtains that I've purchased in the past from when I filmed a video in my bathroom. Every dollar curtain, I mean, every curtain, shower curtain that you've seen while I was filming in my bathroom came from the Dollar Tree. And then when they tear up, because it's plastic so these don't last too 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 long when you're like pulling your shower curtain back and all that kind of stuff they rip so i just replace them with the with another dollar tree uh shower curtain so this is like a paisley pattern and then this time i got a shower curtain liner that's yellow the white one is dirty at the bottom so it's time to toss it switch it out for these and that's it for the dollar tree now i did go to family dollar and I don't know if Family Dollar is closing all of their locations, but I tell you what, here in Atlanta, they Dollar Trees, Family Dollars, and Dollar Generals seem to be popping up all over the place, okay? They make me think that you can franchise a Dollar Tree or a Family Dollar, especially them two, because they're owned by the same um, company. So... The Family Dollar Friday, before we went to making to drop Olivia off, we went inside Family Dollar and noticed that they're changing. Oh, because the floor is wet. I'm sitting here like, why is my hand wet? Okay. Um, they're changing over to something called the Dollar Express. So they're doing pretty much the same thing that Deals did when Deals was transitioning over to a Dollar Tree. Everything started off at like 50%, then it went to 60%, then 70, then 80, then 90. So Friday when we went to Family Dollar before on the way to Macon, everything was 60%. Today, when I went into Family Dollar, everything is ranging from 70% to 90%. So it worked out for me because I haven't been sourcing for eBay in a long time because I've been having to put it on the back burner so many times. So 
um, there was a couple of things that I jumped on right away when I did the research while I was in the store because I mean we were in line forever everybody had like full carts of stuff because everything was so cheap and um, so I had time to research some stuff to sell online and I did pick up a couple things so this is one thing that I picked up for my bedroom um, this is called cinnamon crumb cake and it's a candle. They sell these at the Dollar Tree normally, but I never pick them up. The only reason I picked it up today, um, because like I said, everything was on sale. So this was 70% off and it ended up being uh, 30 cents. So I picked up two of these, both in the same uh, fragrance. So they were both 30 cents each. Then I picked up this Body Fantasies Lotion. I love the smell of this. It's Japanese Cherry Blossom. I always get the body spray, but I never purchase the body lotion. And it smells so good. It's like a, it smells really similar to the Japanese Cherry Blossom at Victoria's Secret. Like this is about as close as you can get to that. Um, the Dollar Tree brand, April and Shower, I think, they have a, a Cherry Blossom fragrance. But it's really, really light um, as far as scent. If you don't want to go spending 13 bucks on some body lotion from Victoria's Secret and you happen to like Japanese Cherry Blossom, not Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, sorry y'all, and you like the fragrance Jap Japanese Cherry Blossom, go to a dollar, go to Family Dollar, see if they have any more of these in the body spray and in the lotion. This is Body Fantasy Signature because this is the only brand that I have been able to find that is really, really close to the Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom scent. This lotion was $3, so it was on sale. It rung up for 90 cents. Okay. All right, so the next thing and I've already kind of swatched this on my arm, but this is a liquid uh, full coverage foundation, LA Colors. I did it on this side of my arm, if you can see right there. But I realized, I don't know why I did that, because my face is darker than the, the back part of my arm. So I probably should have did it on this end. But anyways, I'm going to swatch it again when I get home. Right now, I'm kind of feeling like... Um, let me see. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. But anyway, I'm kind of feeling like if I use it on my face, then I'm going to have to put like a darker foundation with it to, you know, for it to get like, for me to get like a good match. Um, I don't wear foundation very often, but it is time for me to replace what I have. I have to replace a lot of the makeup that I have because uh, I just don't like throwing stuff away. So anyways, moving on to the next thing, this I picked up, and this is not for eBay, none of this stuff except everything up to this point is not for eBay. These are actually some wallets that I saw sitting by the register, they were in a basket, and I was thinking to myself, oh I need a wallet because my wallet, the button is broken. And so they were priced for $2.50, but they rung up for $0.75. Cents. And this is what they look like, okay? They're thin like this. So they're pretty thin, and there's a space for your cards. Um, if you've got, you know, if you write checks or whatever, then you know there's those spaces. And then this is your change spot now I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say that these are super duper great quality wallets but for 75 cents that's not bad so I said to myself I said well I can either keep one or I can give them away um, as a giveaway on my YouTube channel because I have now reached a thousand subscribers and I've been telling myself and I've also been kind of dropping hints every once in a while here on this channel that I'm gonna do a subby giveaway. And that it was just gonna be a box full of random goodies. Um, and I may either do one, either choose one winner or two winners, but I wanted to wait until I got a to a thousand subscribers. Um, because I think it's more fun that way. I was pretty stoked when I got an email from YouTube saying that I had reached a thousand subscribers. 
they may not mean a lot to you guys okay but for me i've had my channel for a few years now so that's a pretty good uh that made me pretty excited to see that so yeah these were up at 75 cents so i've got one in red and i've got one in brown and so i'm not going to open that because they're the exact same and what i'm going to be doing with these these are going to be part of the subscriber giveaway okay so um i'm actually going to be the whole month of june you guys have the chance to uh enter into to uh, enter into the subscriber giveaway just by commenting below enter me um along with an email or you know what don't leave your email address in the comment area just send me an email or a direct message um my email address is listed in the description so you can either send me an email saying enter me into the subscriber giveaway along with your email address and um so that's how i'm going to be tallying it up and then at the end of june i will be giving something away or some things away to either one person or to two people and the random and the winner will be chosen at random okay so you guys have a whole month to get entered into this uh giveaway all you have to do is be a subscriber and that's it <coughs> So anyways, now this stuff I purchased for eBay. Um, they had these Aspen Pet large dog leashes. And I don't know why I thought they were going to be like a dollar or something. But these rung up for 80 cents. So I bought two of them. And I'm going to list them uh, on eBay. So, I think that's pretty cute. You guys can see the design there. They also had some retractable leashes, but they didn't have a price on them. So, I was kind of nervous about that. I didn't want to get to the register and then have to put them back. You know what I mean? Okay. So, this is the last thing that I picked up. And I actually picked up six of these. So, these on the tag are on the little... Uh, percentage off paper that they had over it over the little area that was that had these gloves hanging up it said that they were these were supposed to ring up for 30 cents but they rung up for 45 cents and i'm not even tripping because they sell they sell on ebay it just depends on if you're selling it separately and listing it as a multiple listing or if you're going to sell them in a lot um i've seen when I was standing in that long dry line waiting until my turn, I saw that there were people on eBay selling these by themselves, like one at a time. And then some people were selling them as lots. Um, I think that I'm going to do one at a time and just list it as a multiple listing and do it that way. But when I looked at my receipt and I didn't notice it until like way after the fact, because I'm not even over on that side anymore, but, uh, yeah, these were up for 45 cents and she only she only uh she only charged me for four of them. I didn't, but I purchased, but I got six. See, I've got here's three. I've got six. And this is five and then there's one in the bag. But she only rung me up for four of them. So yeah, see right here where it says Jersey Glove Brown. And then the eyeglasses, that was for for these because they have, uh, where is it? Here it is. It had the 250 on it, but for some number, this for some reason, this number wasn't coming up when she scanned it. So she just walked around and grabbed a pair of eyeglasses that was the same price and she rung it up that way. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty good deal. Make sure I keep this receipt here. Um, I haven't been selling much on eBay. I sold something today or well yesterday and I was going to get a, um, a, um, a bubble mailer for it today, but you know, whatever I can improvise. I've got something at home that I can use in place of it. It's really no big deal. I was just trying to just keep it simple, but you know, whatever. But yeah, anyways, you guys, it, um, just head out to your family dollar to see if the, if that particular location is closing because they might be. 
and everything is going on sale they're trying to get rid of all of the inventory so i have no idea what they're going to end up filling the stores up with once they switch over to dollar express but um anyways you guys comment like and subscribe remember all month of june you can enter into the uh 1000 subby giveaway i'm so excited about it because i've been building up like a little goodie box uh for the past couple of months now for this reason specifically okay so all you got to do like i said is comment either comment under this video that you want to be entered into the giveaway or you can send me an email address my contact information is up under the video you can send me an email saying that you want to be entered into the 1000 subby giveaway giveaway and also um leave your email address and your name and all that stuff or your screen name or whatever um that way when i choose the winner you know that it's you i'm talking about and um so i haven't decided if i'm gonna do one person two people we'll see but anyway um so enough of that jazz you guys i will see y'all on the next video bye